Hi everybody and welcome back to another episode of Ride 2 here on this channel. I'm KPG Guna here and in today's video guys we're looking at another premium bikes pack that's just been released. Now this one is Ride 2 2017 Top Bikes Pack. Now this has some awesome bikes from 2017 in it. Now if you've already got to a season pass then it's a free DLC but the premium DLC to buy is about 4.99 and it's got some awesome bikes. Now these have got some new version of bikes we've already got in the game and I think it's got one new bike that we haven't got in the game. Now this is going to be an awesome episode guys. We're going to have a look at all the bikes and then we're going to jump into a race on one of these awesome machines. So let's get straight into it now guys and have a look at what we've got in the new bikes pack. So let's get into it. Here we go. And the first bike in this new 2017 Top Bikes pack is an awesome Ducati of 2017. Now this thing looks absolutely amazing and look at the design of the exhaust. I absolutely love that design. Now I'm not sure how many modifications is going to be available for each one of these bikes but we will be having a look at each one of these bikes in a video. Just let me know in the comments below which ones you want to see first. Right let's get into the next bike. Next up is the 2017 version of the Super Duke R. Now look at the styling of this bike. Again, it looks absolutely amazing and I cannot wait to try this one out. Now I love the Super Dukes. Uh, they're absolutely awesome bike with extreme power. But I'm not sure what this one's going to be like against the 2014 version. But we may have a look at that very soon. Right, let's get into the next bike on this pack. Right guys, this is the bike that there isn't another version of on the game. Now Husqvarna have got a few different versions of these crazy designs. The one cylinder bikes, I think we did a video on them. They're really, really good handling but not very powerful. But this one may be better, I'm not sure. I didn't look at the stats but it's got an Acupova exhaust as standard. It might have more punch to it. I mean that arrow says better dynamics, it could be quicker. We will have a look at that very soon. Guys, I'm super excited for this bike, the Honda CBR1000 SP2 2017. Now, if you've already had a go on the SP1 on the game, you will know how amazing it is, how quick it is, how good it is around every single circuit on the game. And this one could be even better. We will pitch both these two against each other and see if the 2017 version any better than the SP1. Oh, guys, I cannot wait to try this one out, guys. This has been an awesome pack so far. Let's get into the next bike. So here we go. Guys, we really are being spoiled. Now, the older version of the ZX-10RR is amazing. Just think what the 2017 version is going to be like. Again, it's another matchup that we're going to have to do. Is it going to be better? But we know these are crazy fast in the straight line. But is this one going to handle better? Oh, my God. What an amazing pack. And we've got another bike coming up. Again, it's going to be absolutely amazing to match against this older version. But let's get straight into it, guys, because I think it's another bike you're going to be excited about. Let's get into it now. So here we go. And look at this, guys. The Suzuki GSX R 1000R 2017. Again, it's another very, very popular bike on Ride 2. And again, is this version going to be better then the older version, well, look at the description. It says the first few letters, the king is back. So it's obviously a bike that is going to be absolutely beast on this game. I cannot wait to try out these bikes. And, they're, and like I said again, let me know in the comments below which one of these amazing bikes you want to see matched up first. Right, let's get into the first race on the bike in today's episode. And the first bike I want to try out in today's episode is the absolute beast, the Super Duke car. Now, I want to see how much better this version is. So we're going to race it, and then we're going to match it up against its older version, the 2014 version. Which one's going to come out on top? Right, guys, we fully maxed out the new Super Duke R 2017. Now, it's slightly less performance points than the older version, but I've noticed that the handling and braking power is slightly better on this version but not on the acceleration and the top end than the Super Duke car 2014. So it'll be interesting to see what they are like against each other. But first up, let's race this new 2017 version. So here we go. Right, so here we go, testing out this 2017 version of the Super Duke R. Uh, let's leave these. Yeah, we'll leave the settings with anti-wheel on high. It's going to be quite powerful and hard to pull off. Uh, they are awesome wheelie bikes. Quite a lot of decent bikes in this race. The BMWs are pretty strong and the promoters are pretty strong. This is going to be interesting. Let's get straight into the race. 
Right, so here we go. Now we know this version has got slightly better handling and braking power, so hopefully that's what we're going to see in this race. Let's see if we can get a good start. Really gently open it. Even with Antony on high, that front wheel still wants to come up, but this one has just under 200 brake horsepower, and I think the other version has got slightly more. Now, you couldn't change the exhaust on this version, uh, but you could on the older version, so I don't know whether that's something they're going to add, and that may be one of the reasons why it lacks that little less power but it still feels pretty good now we're on the standard sense we haven't adjusted any of the sense so we've just got to try and race with this and see how good it is now it's got good brakes let's see if we can slow it down slow it down oh god don't make any contact managed to turn in that really difficult corner and we're sitting in p4 we've got to be really good on the uh throttle as well because this thing just wants to wheelie up even with anti wheelie on high we're definitely gonna have to try and race this without the anti wheelie i think it'll be rather difficult but uh yeah i'll definitely think it'll be a challenge and we just managed to slip up the inside there can we hold on to that slight touch there oh god a little bit of a touch again and i've managed to turn it over and i'm up to p2 God dear, what a risky pass that was, but I've managed to uh, do it, and I'm up to second place, and I'm sitting right behind one of those BMW 1000Rs. Now, they're pretty good as well. Very, very fast, and we've I think we've tried one of them out already on the game, and we really like those as well, so uh, that's going to be a hard bite to beat, and it's managed to put away slightly. Just trying to be really good on the throttle here, and slow it down, slow it down. It's got good brakes. Oh, just went into there a little bit hot and just overrun it onto the curb. Be careful. Don't accelerate. Oh, God. Just caught that apex there as well. Oh, my God. Almost got thrown off there. You've got to be so careful on these bikes because they are so quick. The acceleration on these things are pretty damn decent. So you've got to just slowly, gently open the throttle out of the corners because you do get a quite a reaction from the back. It really does kick out, so you've got to be really, really good. And we've managed to just slowly feather it around that corner. Uh, definitely, uh, it's definitely understeering, but like I said, we're racing on the standard settings, so it's not going to be perfect. But we've managed to pull away from the other bikes, which is good. And we're sitting right behind the BMW again. We haven't got in there really tight, and it's definitely understeering. And again, we've gone out wide, but we've managed just to try and get the power down. But you've got to just gently open the throttle. You can't just... <clears throat> excuse me you can't just full throttle it because it does really give you a massive reaction which will throw you off and again we're really struggling to turn it in oh god this oh god i managed to stay on the curb that was good and change direction just trying to keep it nice and smooth uh this one definitely needs a setup guys i uh, don't think it's you know, it's that very it's not very comfortable uh on these normal settings and really having to fight with it uh, it's all over the place but uh is it still going to be better than the other version in a matchup we will find out after this race but first off we've got to try and beat this bmw and we are lagging behind we need to sort of I have a better last lap I think if we want to get past this one right slow it down use those awesome brakes oh that was much better that time we managed to get it turned in we've got to try and get that front end turned in that's where it's not turning it's, it's really difficult and that was quite smooth through there so we managed to do it and we got the fastest lap at the moment so we have improved let's see if we can just be a little bit better on this lap get it nice and tight turned into these corners and again oh god the back. do you see the back end then just pulled pulled back a little bit uh, didn't like her that change of direction there uh, and those are the things that you need to alter so that's either the rebound or the compression might just need adjusting slightly at the back and you need probably to stiffen up the suspension at the front as well uh, slightly better to get it turned in and let's just slow it down oh god again we've got in there really hot couldn't turn it round again it's understeered really badly in that corner and that's cost us uh, quite a bit so we're going to struggle to win this race if we don't really have a good finish here let's try and get it nice and tight onto the curb there that's nice and smooth through there right we've got to have to be really good in this corner okay we've overrun it the brakes are fine it's just turning the bike and it's not turning in very well and we've managed oh god i've managed to power out of that section there and i've got past i thought i was going to get kicked off there but managed to get past the other bike there that was awesome right try not to lose it through here nice and smooth we've got that bmw sitting right behind us so we can't sort of hold back we still need to really finish fast oh my god it's wheeling up 
really, really struggling to hold on to this bike. Right, we've got to have a last couple, good last couple of corners. Otherwise, we're probably going to lose it here. Right, slow it down, slow it down. We've got it into there really hot. Oh my God, again, struggled to turn it down. The wheel's gone up. Oh my God, is that BMW going to crack straight into me? Oh God, I've caught the curb there. But we go with the finish line. Oh my God, what a difficult ending. That Super Duke is so hard to control. So much power. It definitely needs some adjustment. Uh, that was not a very comfortable ride at all. But we managed to get the victory. It just has so much power. You've got to sort that out somehow. And try and get it really, really good around the corners. I think you could. But uh, let's get straight into a matchup against the 2014 version. And see which one comes out on top. So here we go, guys. Right, so here we go with the matchup of the Super Duke R's. Now, we're going to go with the 2017 version. We're going to do a couple of laps around Donington National Circuit. This one's slightly less performance points, but you never know. This one may come out on top. So we'll get straight into it now, guys. So here we go. Right, guys, so here we go testing out the Super Duke R 2017. Now, this one has better handling and better braking power, but doesn't have the acceleration and the top end of the older version. But that doesn't mean this one is not going to win in just the standard time trial. Now, we haven't adjusted either set, either any of the settings on either bike. We're just going to do a couple of laps and see which one gets the fastest time. We're going to do that on all the bikes you've seen in today's episode, guys. Uh, I mean, it'll be a lot... Uh, a little bit more interested on this on the sports bikes to see which ones are better. I mean, especially on the Honda CBR 1000R SP2. Is that going to be better than the SP1? Oh, we're going to find out soon. But let's see if we can just get a good time on the Super Duke R first. It's feeling pretty decent in the corners. The brakes feel good. And like I say, we're on the standard setup. So um, it's going to be interesting. I mean, it's, I mean, I'm not sure whether the top end and the acceleration will come into play on this time trial. But uh, we will see. But uh, let's see if we can get a decent time first. We're going to go a couple of laps. But if we beat... Uh, the time on the older version on the first lap then we won't go a second lap it's just to see which one comes out uh, on top now these aren't going to be the fastest laps i'm just doing a rough guide uh, of both bikes that's all i'm doing guys i'm not going to spend hours on each bike getting be uh, the best setups and then racing them against each other this is just on a standard uh just a standard outline of which one handles better and which one's quicker now we did a 109.6 for the first lap we need to get slightly better than that i think let's try and hold it around there and accelerate let's try and keep that front wheel down this hasn't been too bad i'm i'm keeping it under control uh this is just uh we just jumped on it around the circuit oh god we're slightly uh, under the time on that first split point so we haven't been quicker so far on the first section of this second lap and that's a bit disappointing if we want to get a better time we need to start doing a little bit better in the corners Let's just try and hold the speed a bit more into these corners. Get it nice and tight onto the apex there. Hold it, hold it. Stay on the tarmac. And we've got the time down slightly. So that's awesome. So we have improved at that next split point. Hold it. Be really good on the brakes. They're really good on this one. So uh, you don't be afraid to just go a little bit quicker into the corners. Because this bike, bike does stop pretty damn quick. But it needs to be because it is quite a heavy bike as well. Right, slow it down. Oh, God, hold the speed through there. Keep that front wheel down and drive it to the line. Are we going to be quicker on this second lap? It felt quicker. And, oh, God, a 108.7. Now, that's the time to beat that we're going to have to do on the 2014 version of the Super Duke R. Is it going to be faster? Well, we're going to find out in a minute, guys. I think it's going to be close. Let's get straight to it now, guys. So here we go. Right, guys. Here we go testing out the 2014 version. Now, this has a better top end and better acceleration. Let's get straight to the track. Right guys, so here we are on the 2014 version of the Super Duke R. Now we've managed to change the exhaust on this version and I think that may be the difference on the acceleration and top end. I don't know if they're going to add those modifications to the uh, newer version. I, I'm, I'm not sure. But uh, I'm not sure whether those stats, the acceleration and top end, will mean it'll be quicker around at this circuit in this time trial. Now on the standard settings again, we're 
going to find out so let's see so it's not too bad into that first corner now if we beat the time on this first lap i'm not going to go a second lap it's just a rough guide to see what the difference is between the two versions right let's try and turn it over oh didn't feel too bad changing direction and again it's quite smooth through there holding the speed and um, not having to brake it too much uh on this one uh for some reason uh even though it hasn't got to uh, uh, better brakes than the newer version it feels pretty good it's slowing down nice and it's dropping into the uh, corners nice as well let's see if we can get a nice uh, corner here hold the speed nice and smooth open the throttle slowly and hold it yes again it cornered pretty well on the standard sense right is it going to now this last chicane that's where it's going to cost it time hold it through there turn it over keep that front wheel down oh god almost went off the track there kept it on and to the line and it's beating it first time not surprised guys it doesn't feel that much different to be honest uh, I don't think that little bit of stat on the uh, the brakes and the handling made a great deal of difference. But they're both awesome bikes, guys. But uh, like I said, I'm going to match up all the bikes that are in this bike pack. I mean, there may be greater differences in the other bikes, but today's was a good one. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to like the video, leave your comments, and I will see you very soon for some more Ride 2 here on this channel very soon. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and bye-bye.